must a man walk down In order to understand what's going to be art, we need to see what are the tools, the most advanced tools that exist nowadays. For example, let's take virtual reality. With those kind of tools, we are trying to understand some cognitive issues in a different way than we understand them, let's say, with just a, a flat panel. And probably with those tools, we're going to develop new ideas that you and me at this very moment, we cannot even grasp. As much as I'm very busy with my um, multimedia department in actually putting the collections, the digital collections online, there's nothing more important for the museum than actually showing and bringing visitors to the real thing. I think there's a big difference between the Rembrandt that's photographed and scanned and uh, put into the collection on the Israel Museum website um, for the enjoyment of our public or the researchers and the born digital artwork, which is an art project that's taking place either on the internet or a local computer that is determined by the qualities, the palette of the electronic media and can't be seen outside of the computer. There's a lot of new work that's being generated by artists using this electronic palette and we show this beautiful project by Ariel Malka um, in our museum, the Java Scriptorium, um, which shows uh, an interpretation of the Isaiah scroll in uh, micro calligraphy. It's actually created in the program Java. It's very, very gorgeous. Now this has no means of being outside the computer. So this is digitally born art and it reflects on the qualities of the Isaiah scroll and the qualities of the artistic rendering and the aesthetic of um, an artwork. But it exists only within the computer. You turn off the electricity at the end of the day, the art is gone. Interactive art works in open systems where you would strive to keep everything vibrant, moving, in balance. It's a time-based media. It's not object-oriented. When you make an artifact, when you make a painting or a drawing or a sculpture, you have something. You can touch it. Interactive art is about the relationship. It's about something that moves, that changes, that evolves, that behaves as if it is alive. But you can't touch it. It's nowhere. And it is quite a challenge. We are just at the, at the verge of a period in which people that were raised in the digital age start being artists and create and develop ideas. Mm -hmm. So probably we'll be seeing the digital age coming to art only in about 10 to 20 years. After those kids will be 40 and 50 years old. I think we're going to see a rise in, in the, the digital uh, production, the born digital artwork, because as artists always take to the palette whatever is available. The Fluxus group in the 60s used fax machines. The Dadaists in the 20s and 30s used postcards as a communication media, but as a way of interpreting the palette that was around them. That's what they had at their fingertips. There's a constant flow between new media labs in Europe and uh, and marketing devices, which is okay, but it's, it's there, it's going. The, the ideas come from the art and end up in the market, or vice versa. The artists at the moment are using, are taking up all the new media that we have. Um, there, there are artists who are using the mobile phone to create full feature movies. Um, and these, these are shown in museums. So whatever the palette that's available for the digital artist, will be taken up and used. But at the same time, you'll see in all the art schools around the world, the painterly brush, the painterly horizon is still really important. The role of the art artist is changing. The role of the artist as a sole creator of artifacts or as a creator of uh, imagery uh, is gone. Anyone with a Photoshop can do anything. Basically, the, the movement goes from the individual to the group, from the conscience of one artist in his studio to multiple consciousness of uh, multiple users. 
they're, they're always going to be side by side with the physical art. I believe that in the future art will be uh, uh, less beautiful and much more social and involved in social issues, in urban issues. Big art is done in big cities. Thousands of people, hetero, uh, the, the population are very uh, heterogenic. And um, people from all around the world are gathering together to live in a, in a very uh, uh, dense uh, surrounding. And uh, I think art must be uh, part of all this.